Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Monday the 20th. I it was worth staying up for on it. I said, thought Kansas would win. Gave them a bit of a pasting and I thought the 49ers would win. Um, didn't have enough to cover the spreads but both of them won comfortably. And I think we have the best team over the season in the Super Bowl with the 49ers against the best player Um at Kansas in Mahomes, the quarterback, he is something else. Um, so it should be a fantastic Super Bowl. Um, two very different styles of play. Um, and I hope just for once that one of my teams doesn't go Spursy and gets the job done. But uh, that is for two weeks' time. Um, it's opened up minus three and a half Kansas, um, which not for me, I think they're a bit closer than that, so I might be having a better plus three and a half 49ers. Um, I genuinely do think, and I'm not just saying, I genuinely do think the 49ers will win. I think they they will be able to stop Mahomes, um, and they'll still rack up points in that against that Kansas defence as other teams have. But that is for a couple of weeks' time. Um, Right, I am departing to a hotel tonight, ready to fly tomorrow morning, just to give you a quick recap again. I will be doing podcasts pretty much every day, there may be a day I miss. Um, tomorrow is an ultimate process for midweek football, as is Friday, as is next Tuesday. Everything will run as normal, um, irrespective of time zones. Tomorrow's going to be the hard one, because I've got to get on the plane early, but... Um, I'm going to be up and organised and get that churned out as quickly as I can from, you know, once I get the prices at 8 o'clock, my fingers will be clicking like mad to get that done for you. Um, I won't be on, I will be checking email, but I won't be dealing with a lot of email while I'm away. Um, uh, other than that, everything else will be as normal and I've got lots of stuff to cover when I get back, read the forum set up and um, moving things forward, but... Uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll deal all with all that when I'm back. So I'm away from tomorrow. As I say, I will be uh, in touch. I know a lot of you are looking forward to podcast tips because the last time I went to the States, they were on fire. So hopefully that continues. Uh, we had a winner of the NFL competition, so we don't need the tie break. Uh, Jeff Butler, good I mean, good friend of mine. Jeff, he's a good lad, really good FTS member. I've mentioned him before. Um, Palace fan, he's got that going against him. Good at loading dishwashers. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's a good boy. So, uh, well done, Jeff. I think you know more about it than you've let, let on. Um, I will sort out your fantastic prize in the week I'm back. But we've got to meet up anyway for a beer. So, we're going to meet before Christmas and Jeff wasn't too good. So, we'll meet uh, We'll meet when I get back, Jeff. Uh, well done to you. Um, I might even do another competition for Super Bowl Sunday while I'm in Vegas as well. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I was going to tell you that story when I saw I've told the story of the guy with the um, bag out the window, threw the bag out the window, the racing guy. Uh, oh, this is a good one. He's a big lad. He loves a beer. I mean, he is a big, big lad. Suggsy's met him. Gary Smith's met him. Um, he's he's a disorganised individual. Excellent at what he does with the horses, but runs around with a bit of paper putting all these bets on. But Arsenal fan goes to every game, loves a beer, and I mean drinks 10, 12, 15, 20 pints, big lad. So he started, um, his weight was getting a bit out of hand, uh, going to the gym to try and get a bit fitter. So he gets in the uh, jacuzzi one day, and there's three people in there, uh, three other guys, and they start chatting, and he, the bloke he sat opposite, he sort of said, oh, he, my mate had just done one of the spinning classes, um, a spinning class so he said oh, I've just done one of those spinning classes he said it's flipping brilliant he said you should do that and the guy I was going no it's not really for me no not for me and, and my man just kept on no really good those spinning classes you want to get fit you really want to just they're, they're fantastic the spinning classes really good you want to do those and the guy just kept going no no it's not for me not for me this conversation went on for about half an hour so uh, my mate has gone on and on. You've got to do these spinning classes. Best thing I've ever done. Super fit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the uh, the time has passed. Ultimately, the guy's got to get out. And he's um, only got one leg. So <laughs> the whole, my mate's just gone bright red with embarrassment. The other two guys in there are sort of chuckling away. Didn't know where to look. And um, he's... 
he has gone bright. He's he's got himself out and got showered and changed. And by the time he's got all that done, the guy with the uh, one leg is sat in the cafe having a coffee. So he goes over to me. He says, "I really apologise, mate." He said, and the guy went, "You?" He went, "You?" He said. I was trying, I kept saying no. He said, I was just hoping you would get out. He said, in the end, I just got fed up with it. I had to get out. He said, but you just would not let it go. Um, he was absolutely fine with it, but just, yeah, yeah. Got to do the spinning classes, got to do the spinning classes. And the guy gets out, only one leg. Um, I don't know, well, I find it funny. He's as mad as a hatter, that boy. Um, right, what we got today? Have I got any horses? Let me have a look. I've got nothing football-wise. Um, really is a, a quiet day. It's all been a bit damn squib for me the football the last week or so you get so excited for it to start up again um and it's all been a little bit damp squib for me but it'll pick up um 555 wolverhampton uh railport dolly win and place 555 wolverhampton railport dolly win and place and 340 plumpton morny wing win and place 340 plumpton morny wing win and place um, nothing football wise I will have a podcast tomorrow morning early before I get on the plane uh, because I think I may have a bit of football tomorrow um, let's get it going looks like the old uh, I've got to concede defeat and it? I, I want August to come really I want it all to start all over again so I can just forget about uh, these boys winning this flipping league and move on to another season and start seeing Man City turn up again um, I'm just not I can't even mention them, but it's looking like it's all done and dusted isn't it and Spurs got Man City next week pasting um, right have a what is it what is it what is it it's uh, it's Monday have a lovely Monday um, I'll be back with you tomorrow but as I say anyone trying to get hold of me for things I won't be about now until the 4th of February on email I will be tweeting and uh, we'll have Super Bowl tweets and golf I might take Tiger Woods out while I'm there make sure he can't play in the Masters and win that um, right have a lovely um, Monday and I will catch you all uh, tomorrow <laughs>